G'day, I'm Mrs. Dow, and welcome to Mrs. Dow's Art Room. Here's today's lesson. It's Margaret Preston inspired resist painting. First, you'll need to write your name and class and turn your page over. We'll be using oil pastels today, but crayons work as well. First, we'll draw a rectangle for a frame. Will be a bit hard to see, but if you look at it at the right angle, you should be okay. Once your rectangle is drawn, we'll draw the diagonal lines in the corners to make it look like an actual picture frame. Next, we're going to use a couple of coloured oil pastels to add some lines in the sides of the picture. Excuse my head there. I've had some zigzag lines, some spirals, and we'll see what else we can think of. You'll need a paper towel handy to clean your hands off when you're finished with the oil pastels. Now, we are going to put a picture in the middle, but first off, we're going to use some black watercolour paint or poster paint to paint around the frame so that we can reveal our edges and know how much space we have to work with. Using clean water, dance around on your paint and get it ready. And then we're going to stay inside the line there, revealing all of that amazing coloured oil pastel and the white lines that we drew earlier. Now the frame is painted. You might want to wait till the next lesson before you draw inside the picture, but we can brainstorm what kind of things we might like to draw in there. Wash your brushes off really well and make sure that you dry your artwork flat. Now we're ready for the picture in the middle. I'm going to use some white oil pastel again so that I get a little bit of that magic reveal and yeah, they do break easily, so be gentle. So I am drawing a vase of flowers because I do love flowers as well, just like Margaret Preston. I'm adding some details, some extra lines and things into the vase. You can see when I hold it at a certain angle. So those details will be revealed when we paint. But I'm also going to use a couple of coloured oil pastels to add some uh, of the stems and flowers and things. Doesn't mean I have to paint them the same colour, but it's just nice to have some contrast. Now my drawing's finished, I'm ready to start painting right away. Using a nice clean brush and clean water, we activate the paint. So here I'm putting red paint inside the red flowers, but you can choose different colors. The oil pastel line will act as a fence or a barrier so that the paint will just go onto the paper and hopefully not spill out. When you're cleaning your brush, it's a good idea to wipe it on the paper towel before you rinse it in your water and that keeps your water cleaner for longer. I'm going to speed this next bit up. It's a nice idea to add bright colours in some spaces and more light colours in others so that you can see a bit of contrast in your artwork. Once my subject is painted, and it can be anything you like, it could be a bike, a game, anything, don't forget to put a light colour in your background so that your subject stands out off the page and looks a bit more 3D. I hope you've had fun with today's lesson. Thank you, my amazing art students.